my clients, they're empty nesters now. Uh, they've lived in this house and raised their children here for a number of years at this point. So they were looking to do something for themselves and this was sort of a renovation that they had been mulling over for several years before they contacted us. When we first came to the house and saw the kitchen, they had a small little eat-in area, which was great when the kids were little, but very limited functional storage space and counter space. So it was definitely something that we needed to address. We weren't just considering making the kitchen larger and more accessible. Our client's property backs onto a heritage space in Mississauga, and the view is stunning, and it's one of the first things that you see upon entering the home. So we definitely wanted to sort of expand on that, seeing as they've been working for the almost 20 years that they've lived here with a very tiny little window and not being able to really get much sunlight or anything in the house. It really was not that large of a footprint, just under 170 square feet. What we ended up doing was adding approximately six feet in depth and enlarged the kitchen to about 235 square feet. Doing that gave us the ability to add in the wonderful view that we've got, increase the window capacity, add in the skylights, and really bring the outdoors in. We did a really nice, comfortable, large island. They do have a large family, and we wanted to make sure that there was a lot of comfortable seating. So not only do we have space for three bar stools at a traditional location, what we've also done is we've expanded the depth of the island so that should they have more guests and in need of extra seating space, that we can also put other people sort of around the island and left a little bit more leg room that way. Everything here is very purposeful that we've chosen in the location of what we have. So we've tried to really maintain the symmetry and keep that kind of modern vibe going in that way. So our island, the seating is directly opposite the window. The window is very expansive. Our skylights that we've chosen to highlight in there, again, to sort of bring the outdoors in, are very balanced and symmetrical to the windows. So everything has its place in here. In this space, we opted for two fixed and one solar-powered fresh air skylight. Adding skylights to this project was an absolute no-brainer. The view is stunning. The natural light is stunning. There's a ton of privacy here, and it was something that was very important to both homeowners that if they were gonna go through a project of this caliber, that they wanted to make sure the end result was gonna be lovely. So the design experts that we worked with at Velux definitely advised us on the best positioning for the vented skylight. We ended up positioning it opposite to the window. It does provide fantastic airflow in here, as well as a different type of airflow. You think you open a window and the space can just air out and it's good and it's wonderful. But actually, hot air and toxins and cooking fumes and all of that rises within a home. So having a vented skylight really does work a little bit differently and it really adds to the health of the home and the air that you're consuming and breathing. What we also did with our skylight here is we upgraded to the Velux Active System, which comes with an app that works off your phone. This Velux Active System is fantastic. It comes with an indoor climate sensor. It monitors for humidity, temperature, and CO2 levels within your home. So if it's sensing that it's rising on any of the three, it will automatically open itself, air out your home, and give you clean breathing air. The return on investment that you get for that is just phenomenal. To your home, to your life, to your family, the introduction of a skylight in a space is, is lovely. We went for a very toned down monochromatic approach to this space. A couple of reasons for that. One, we did want to flood the whole room with a lot of natural light, so we didn't want anything to really fight with the natural light in here. The other is all different things sort of get highlighted throughout that space, depending what time of year it is. So we really want to keep our general palette kind of neutral in here. So we went with a warm kind of a grayish tone for our cabinetry. For the countertops, we just ended up going with a simple quartz. We didn't feel this was the place to go for like a bold strike or anything like that in it. So we kept it very calm. We did wrap it up again as a backsplash, but we didn't want to introduce any other type of material. We just wanted to keep it calm and go more with that contemporary vibe. We did want to break up our cabin tree a little bit so that everything just wasn't tone on tone in here. So we did introduce some wood elements into it. The hood, the beautiful highlight on the coffee station. We also introduced a little bit of an inset on our island. The purpose of that was really to sort of bring the outdoors in, to work with the colors of nature, but also to sort of integrate it with the antiques that the client has throughout the house. We introduced a bit of a coffee station. The cabinetry around it works as a pantry. So it's the little breakfast bar in the morning, the island's right there, you can relax, read the paper. Not that anyone does that anymore, <laughs> anything of that sort. 
We did add very purposeful storage all the way through, great rollouts in the pantries. But what we also did was a couple fun little things that decluttered the countertops, like our built-in integrated knife block that is in one of our cutlery drawers. We also integrated a bread box, so just to avoid, again, the big bread basket that constantly sat on the counter all the time. We also incorporated toe kick drawers, which is great, whether your kitchen's large like this one or whether you live in a very small space in a condo in the city, toe kick drawers are a fantastic thing. There are a ton of wasted space down there and it is great for like large baking sheets, huge serving platters, anything of that sort. We're so happy with how this kitchen turned out in the end. We were able to bring the outdoors in. We were able to really maximize the space and the functionality of the kitchen for our clients. They have all the additional space that they need now as their family continues to grow moving forward. And overall, even entering the space again today, just love how bright and cheerful and inviting it really is. Mm -hmm.